All right, what's going on, hound dogs? This is Robert Arrington, Joey Haluska. We're out here trying to catch dinner right now. Look at that turtle, y'all. Never know what you're gonna see when you come out here. Joey's getting one. Got him? Yeah. I think I got a submarine. <laughs> What do you think it is? Cabrera? I don't know. Look at this shark, you guys. Old sandbar shark. You can tell a sandbar by that big, tall dorsal fin. There is the <laughs> I ain't sure what it is, but I got it. How big do sea bass have to be? Perfect. Fish Rules app. We're allowed seven per person. Minimum size is 13 inches. Total length. Nice bite. There it is. Look at the size sea bass, boys. Hey. All right. Y'all, this has been all we can do to get one for dinner. But it looks like we finally have a little mahi mahi on. And when I say little, I mean little. But little ones are good to eat, too. Come here. Come here. Come here. Think I should flip him? Yeah, get him in a boat. Hold on. Yeah. Pretty little my my. Now, tonight. I'm gonna make a dish in honor of all my wonderful friends in Fiji called Ika Bakalolo, which is fish and coconut milk. And this is gonna be the fish that we cook. Fresh Mai Mai that we caught right here off Hope Sound, Florida. All right, y'all, so here we go. We're back at Joey's. We just cleaned the boat. That's that nice little dolphin, but y'all have seen me clean about a million dolphins, so we don't need to do that. I have never actually cleaned a black sea bass. They have to be 13 inches long. That one's about 14 and a half, 15. This one's about 14. And in all honesty, I've never cleaned a black sea bass. But rumor has it, they're good to eat. So let's do it. Just like that. All right, look at that. Joey swears these are the best eating fish in the ocean. So we shall see. They feel nice. Oh, look at that meat. Pretty fillet. Roll him over. Him around. In two fillets. Two beautiful fillets. Now, I want to tell you real quick, I'm gonna put in a shameless plug. That's my Silver Stag Woods and Water. Hundreds of y'all have bought this knife. And I want to say to everyone who's gone on to silverstag.com and bought one, thank you very, very much. Um, YouTube has greatly limited our Google AdSense income and I do make a small commission on these knives, um, the deer meat for dinner line. So I want to say thank you very, very much to each and every one of you who've gone out and bought one. Now, we're gonna go back to the house and cook this in a way, this is one of my favorite ways to eat fish. It's called Ikavakalolo. Now, this is a dish that's that I ate in Fiji with the Fisher family. So everybody out in Lali Bulavanaga. Um, unfortunately, I don't have freshly shredded coconut because in, in Fiji, they'll climb the trees or they'll gather up coconuts, split them, and then take a scraper and scrape out the inside. Well, I had to go to Publix and buy some. Now, I have a pot here with some water in it. All I'm gonna do is take a bunch of coconut and pour into that pot 
just like that. That's cheesecloth. You can buy it at your grocery store. Come in here and got to get your hands dirty and just squeeze, just squeeze that coconut just like that and you're going to extract all the flavor. Basically what's happening, the coconut and the water are falling in love. I'm going to fill up that cup with the coconut cream, the coconut water. And I need about two and a quarter cups. So there's our two and a quarter cups of coconut milk. See all the little flavors, little pieces of coconut in there? This is one cup of white rice. Just like that. All right, so I've got some great news, everybody. July 7th, 8th, and 9th, me, Sarah, and Aria will be at the Lakeland Big Buck Expo in Lakeland, Florida. We're gonna be there with the people from Outdoor Republic. Uh, they reached out to us, said, hey, will you come out? And uh, I was like, why not? So we're gonna go out there, see them, hang out, and hopefully get to meet a lot of y'all. I've also got some other cool news. Everglades Seasoning, they called me yesterday. Kelly Harris, really, really awesome lady, and she kind of runs that office there. Um, she said, Rob, tell all of your viewers that if you go on to evergladeseasoning.com in between now and 4th of July, if you use the promo code DMFD, so deer meat for dinner, DMFD, you will get 10% off your entire order. So if you've never tried Everglades, it's very inexpensive, but I guarantee you it will make everything you cook taste amazing. So check them out and use the promo code DMFD. And now I'm done with the announcements for today. So there's our sea bass, and here's our mahi filet, or dorado. We're just gonna cut it into portions that we can lay in there. It's gotta be neat to see which one tastes better, the mahi or the sea bass. Now I'm gonna use just a little original Everglades. Now I know whenever I was in Fiji eating this dish, they certainly did not have Everglades seasoning. But the way I look at it, you can always make something better and you can always put your own personal touch on it. Check that out. When your rice settles down just like that, take your fish and lay it right on top of the rice. Just like that. Here's the good part. Take some regular rice, just like that, or sugar, just like that, and you can just sprinkle it right on top. We'll take just a little bit of this coconut. Right on top. All right, so here's a quick story for you while we're cooking this. Uh, years ago, I was in Fiji, and me and my best friend there, uh, Alfred Fisher, we call him Baby, we were on our way out to a place called Miller's Reef. It's about 35, 40 miles away, and we only go like five or six knots, so it takes a long time to get there. And it was kind of rough, so I had just caught a Otu Otu, which is a, a job fish. The common name is job fish, but in Fiji they call it an Otu Otu. And I filleted it out and I, you know, because it was windy and I had a little burner, I finally got some rice going and I laid the fish on top and I put the sugar on it and I was like, oh my gosh, everyone on the boat's like, oh, pate, that's going to be so good. And uh, all of a sudden I went to reach for a bowl and a wave hit the boat and the whole pot of rice and fish dumped out onto the deck. Mind you, the deck isn't spotless clean. So what do you think I did? Took the bowl, took my hand, scooped the rice and fish back up into the bowl, and we all ate it, and it was delicious. And uh, I can't wait to try this because the smell immediately brings me back. Look how nice 
nice that looks. And then all we do is take out a nice piece of fish that's been steamed. Watch how nice and gentle. Look at that. Mmm. He's so good. Lord, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for this fish. And thank you for all my many wonderful memories of Fiji. Lord, I pray that you watch over them and protect them. And please nurse this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Normally, I always let other people taste the food first. Absolutely. Just as I remember it. The rice is absolutely fantastic. You can taste the coconut, it's real good. And the sugar, is, like you said, gives it a nice sweet flavor. Right. It's real, real good. Everyone keeps asking, who are the boys? This is Jordan Doyle, and his two cousins are Cameron and Dylan. Out here on the ranch, uh, last year, their dads, Clinton and, and Kevin Doyle, became partners on this property with me. Um, and so the boys had very, very little experience hunting or shooting. And so I've sort of taken them under my wing and tried to show them everything I can about the ranch life. So last October, they had zero experience hunting. And now here we are, what is it, July or June, late June? June. These kids are just awesome. They understand hunting, putting up stands, maintaining feeders, taking care of fences. I mean, you name it, they're on it. They help me keep the ranch clean and uh, they help me film and they're a big part of what we do out here. So now you understand. And Cameron and Dylan are still sleeping so they're gonna have to eat this leftover. It's about 10.30 in the morning, beautiful out here. And uh, I'm gonna head back to the house where Sarah and Aria are and uh, edit this video, put it up. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I certainly do appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all so very much and uh, we'll see you very soon. I'm gonna give you a little, a little hint. I'm doing my first collaboration tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Me and Josh Jorgensen from Black Tip H are gonna be running the beach in between Palm Beach and Stewart looking for tarpon, cobia, jacks, permit, and uh, who knows what else. So I'm doing my first collab tomorrow. Can't wait to show it to you. We go.